Lesson six, calculations with significant figures. We're gonna be rounding significant figures in addition and subtraction, and we're also gonna be rounding in multiplication and division problems. So rules for rounding with addition and subtraction, you add or subtract like normal, but you're gonna round the answer to the least number of places of decimals in the actual numbers in the problem. I know that sounds kind of strange, but you're gonna take the numbers that you're using for the math, you're gonna figure out how many decimal places there are, and you're gonna to round to the least number of decimal places. So here are some examples. Um, if you take the first example, you'll see that there are six decimal places in that 3.461728 number, two decimal places in the next number, uh, another six, and then four in the last. So your answer, no matter what you do, you're gonna add it normally, but your answer is only gonna have two decimal places. Pause the video, do the math, try to do the rounding on your own. So when you look at these answers, you'll notice in the very first problem, you should only have 24.61 because of the fact that the number 14.91 only has two decimals. In the second problem, you should get 156.8. The reason why there's only one decimal is because the original 23.1 has only one decimal. For the third answer, you should have 21.170 because the original number 22.101 has three decimals. For the fourth problem, you should get 0.04175 because you're using the number 0.04216. That one only has five decimals. And for the last problem, you're going to keep the same amount because technically there are no decimals. And then also notice that if there's no decimals, you just round to no decimal places. So the no decimals would be the least number of decimals. Mm -hmm. For rules uh, for multiplication and division, it's a little bit different from the addition and subtraction. This is where you actually need to know the number of significant figures in a number. So the first thing you should always do is figure out between the two numbers that are being multiplied or the two numbers being divided, how many sig figs each one has. Then you do the math the exact same way, you would just multiply or divide, but then that means your answer is now going to contain the least amount of significant figures, not decimals. All right guys, so now let's try some actual problems. So again, let's look at the very first problem. You have 53.03, .03, that is four significant figures. You also have 23.1, that is three significant figures. So therefore, your answer, when you multiply the two of them together, should contain three sig figs. Pause the video right now and try all five of these problems. Okay, so you'll notice that the first answer is 1,220, which has three significant figures because that last zero is a trailing zero and does not count. Um, and it's because we have three significant figures in the 23.1. Then the next answer is 0.28 because you're looking for two significant figures from the 0 0.030 and the 9.2. Um, then the next answer is five because the one significant figure from the, uh, the divisor of five. Uh, the next answer is 0.886 because you only needed three significant figures. If you look at all those numbers in the problem, they all had three. And then finally, it's 0 0.000004, which only contains one significant figure. Because of the one number when you multiply in the middle, 0 